What's up guys, it's me, Ray Ray Beats. I'm here to give a tutorial today about sub basses, uh, primarily the sub bass sound you wanna get for making trap beats and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you how to manipulate already existing uh, sub bass samples, and there's a huge resource for them online, so these are a few things you might wanna download if you're gonna utilize this tutorial properly. So here we go, the first one is trysamples.com and they have these two free uh, sample packs called the Trap Step Pack Volume 1 and Trap Step Pack Volume 2. I suggest you get them both. Now, the one that I use a little more frequently that I paid for, but it's very inexpensive, I think it's like $20 or less. It's at djpain1.info, Damn That Hurt Drums Volume 1. This is an excellent pack for drums. And the sub kicks, the 808 sub kicks for sub bass, are all dope in this. Uh, whenever I'm making a trap beat, I usually do between like 140 and 160 BPM. I work in double time because that makes it easier for me to get those high, those high hat rolls and stuff going on. So just uh, as a habit, I'm gonna bust it up to like 155, right? And we're gonna we're gonna take our sub bass and dump it over here onto the uh, step sequencer. And the first thing we want to do, we want to manipulate the amp envelope. So I'm gonna click on the sub bass sample right here. We're gonna go to INS right here up top. If you notice, when I press this key and let go of it, it's gonna play the whole sample out, even though I let go of the key. See, I didn't hold, hold the key down, but the sample sustained. To stop it from doing that, which we wanna do, because we wanna be able to manipulate this, we wanna drop attack, put hold all the way up, drop the decay, drop the sustenance, drop the release, right? So now we have a square here, and watch what happens. I can let go of the I can let go of the key and the, the sample is going to stop playing or I can hold it out as long as I want. All right, so we got that down. Let's make a little sub bass loop now. We're going to right click on that 808 bass, hit piano roll, and we're going to go and start drawing something in right here. If you notice, the, the original sample extends for such a long period of time that we never hear it drop off. It's just like a constant sub bass, except for that little cut I made right there. So one thing you can do is you can go into the amp envelope and you can change the hold, which you'll see is gonna make it cut off and we're gonna, we're gonna make it better than that. But first, edit your hold. And now to make a slow drop off, we're gonna use the decay. So I like that a lot better. It doesn't sustain as long. You know, we manipulated the amp envelope to make it drop off a little quicker because it sounds better. Now, effects. We're gonna use a couple different effects. Let's just get into it. All right, so we're gonna assign this to effects channel uh, 10, right? And we're gonna go in here and start putting effects on this sub bass. First thing we wanna do is EQ. Now when you're mixing, like if you listen to any professional mixing engineers or mastering engineers, they're gonna be like, you don't wanna get crazy with your your additive or subtractive EQ, you know, like you don't want to fix anything that's not broken. But yeah, these sub bass ha have a lot of like bass frequencies you're not even going to hear. Uh, so I like to drop off this lower end here and raise the higher end to make it more present. That just sounds way better to me. It sounds way more present and noticeable. We got rid of these low frequencies that your ear can barely even pick up and we raised these higher frequencies here. Right, so that's like a standard thing. You can mess with it. Sometimes you can drop a little more low and raise a little more high for a different feeling. But uh, it's basically that I do that to all my sub bases. Right. So that's number one is the EQ. Now this is a technique my friend Aaron Skolchi. I hope I'm saying his last name right. Aaron Skolchi um, from Tennessee. He gave me this technique. He said he I don't know where he learned it, but he said add distortion and make it really dry so that it's only like 5% of the distortion coming through. So we're gonna throw distortion on there, right? And we're gonna dry it out. So it's just a little bit of distortion on there. And it gives you a little bit of a like shake, like, uh, like a grittiness to it, right? Now, so uh, sometimes, let me add some snares here real quick.
especially if you're mixing vocals onto your onto your trap beat like you'll find that the sub bass comes through way too much and it's not just a volume thing but it, it crashes it clashes with either other frequencies in your beat or it clashes with other frequency with uh, frequencies in your vocal track even and you never want to cut too many frequencies out of your vocal track because you want it to sound natural. So the sub bass is always something I go to and I try and edit on a, on the frequency scale as well. So um, I'll add a frequency filter to it. So we're going to put a frequency filter right here. Fruity free filter. There we go. And one thing you can always do to make it less present uh, but still bassy is keep your frequency filter on a low pass and drop the frequency down. All right. So you hear it's still there, it's still bassy, it's still gonna make your speakers knock, but it's like deep and very low, and it's gonna clash with less things in your beat. Like if I had a, a, a mid-range synth line like melody going on, uh, it'd be less likely to crash, uh, to clash with that, because I dropped the, the uh, frequency range of it. And this Q parameter right here, this is just width. This is the width of the... So you can really mess around with uh, with frequency with frequency filters and sub bass, and that's a good thing to do as well. I hope this tutorial was helpful. It's like really basic. And that's that. If anybody wants to buy this little beat I made right here, three dollars, son. Three dollars, you can have this loop. All right, what's up? Just kidding. Everybody have an excellent day. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, even though uh, my brain was a bit scattered. I think now that I have a really nice computer, I think I'm going to start doing more tutorials. So go back through my channel and check for all the old tutorials I did and shit and, uh, and look for some new tutorials possibly to be coming in the future. Look at the, I've made a bunch of music videos too. I did a bunch of things I call Beat With Me. Uh, which is me videos you can watch me making beats. My channel's pretty dope. That's why I got these subscribers. So smash that subscribe button for me right now and donate money to my PayPal, RayRayBeats at gmail.com. I'm just kidding. You don't have to do that. But if you did subscribe to my channel, I would also appreciate you going to Facebook.com slash RayRayBeats and liking that because I upload videos on there that aren't on YouTube, just short videos of me making beats and stuff like that. And uh, it's how I keep everybody updated, all right? There's a fine line between love and the game and stigmata. I've been the pinata, sinkholes I'm in and out of. They just empty words they don't honor. Giants fall harder. Where I'm from, you learn to adapt to the water. And I'm adept in the art of rushing roulette with a product. You talking tough, but I could beat you with one hand like a dolly. Or the drummer from Def Leppard, so get stepping. I keep it peace, but the peacekeepers get weapons. But the stones are getting heavy to throw, they skipping. And it feels like it's ready to blow, it's tipping.